Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is me unboxing my purse. Last time I did one of these videos, that video actually reached over 10,000 views. So thank you guys for watching. So I thought that I would do another unboxing since it seems like people are pretty interested. I've been told in the comment section that my video was really informative since I did put a lot of information out since it was my first time buying a luxury bag. So yeah, I thought I'd film this one for you guys. I've been debating on this purse for about like five years I would say. Originally I was going to get this one before my last perch which was the Gucci Dionysus GG Supreme but I decided to get that one before this one so this year I was finally like I'm getting it for myself. I'm saving up for it. So before we get started, I do want to let you guys know which purse that I got. I did get the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM. For those of you that don't know, there are three sizes when it comes to the Neverfulls. A lot of their purses have different sizes. For this particular bag, there's a PM, MM, and GM. And the GM is the biggest, the PM is the smallest, and the MM is the middle size. I don't know why I just said those all out of order, but you get the point. I got the medium size. I have a lot of friends that already have it, or I know people that already have it. The PM was just a little too small for me. And the GM is gigantic. I feel like that one's really good if you're traveling, you want to throw everything in one bag. I did get the Damier Abin pattern. For those of you who aren't familiar, it is the one with um, kind of like the checkerboard looking one. I didn't get the monogram, which is the one that just has the LV logo all over it. And I think the other pattern that they had was the Damier Azure, which is the white checkered looking one. For the inside, the interior, I did get red. I believe it came in red or pink for the Damier Abin pattern. I love the red. I feel like pink is a little too girly for me. I think the red looks classic and I feel like it can be worn in any type of season or any time of the year. The reason why I went with the Damier Abin pattern is because I already have like a little coin wallet. I put my cards in it and it's the same pattern so I wanted to get the same pattern. And also I found and I've watched a lot of videos and the Damier Abin holds up better than the monogram. I've seen like five-year updates to your updates and the Damier Abin always looks like nicer like it looks like it's brand new and I feel like the pattern is like thicker I don't know if that makes sense but for those of you who have both patterns which one do you think lasts longer because personally I feel like my little keychain I feel like it hasn't worn out or and it almost looks brand new it still holds its shape really really well and I feel like the monogram, it kind of starts to wear a little sooner. But again, that's just my opinion. I don't have the monogram, so I can't tell you 100% if that's true or not. So let's go ahead and start opening the box. I'm literally like so excited inside. I don't know. I feel like anything that I spend a lot of money on, I'm just extra, extra excited Especially if it's something that I've been waiting a very very long time to purchase. I didn't just like look online and I was like, oh, I'm gonna get that. That is not me. It's also always really nice when you've saved up your own money and you can't get it for yourself and not have somebody buy it for you. Don't get me wrong, if anybody wants to buy me a purse, feel free, but it feels very good to be able to buy your own. But I literally just got this. I sent it to my job and I received it today at about, I would say, 4 o'clock from UPS. I ordered this bag last Wednesday, and today is Wednesday, so it took about one whole week to get here. Um, if you're counting only business, business days, it took Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So about five, six days total. It did say it takes three to five days. So that is pretty accurate. So I bought this bag for $1,390. So last time when I talked to you about the Gucci bag, I told you guys that if you are in a state where you don't have the actual store in your state, you get the bag and whatever you're buying tax-free unfortunately they've changed that so now even if you live in a state that doesn't have the product you do not get it tax-free so i was charged what the standard taxing 
online texting in Oklahoma was. And for me, it doesn't say the percentage, but it was an additional $119.89, making my total $1,509.89. Which, if I bought it sooner, I would have been able to save like $120.00 but it's fine, we're all good. This is the box that it comes in, pretty big. So again, it comes in a brown box like the Gucci one. And again, I checked the address. The address does not say that it's from Louis Vuitton, which is really nice. No one's gonna snatch it from you. I'm not gonna say what it says because I know there are people watching that may be a little Sneaky. I undid the tab down here. It just like pulled open. I wanted to make sure it was like my package and it was in here So it opens like this Wow, it says Louis Vuitton right here and You open it down I'm so excited. So this is what it looks like on the inside you have your receipt and then the box and it's wrapped so pretty. So when I first purchased the order, I actually called and asked to see if it could be gift wrapped. And they told me that it already comes basically wrapped as a gift. And I think this is what it means. It is so pretty and it wrapped so nice in the classic golden, like a dark golden box. The receipt is also the first thing that's in there in this cute little envelope. And... Yeah, it just has a receipt, it has a return label, also has a cute little card saying thank you for purchasing. And yeah, so this is always just nice to keep in case you ever want to sell it. You can authenticate it. I will never get rid of this purse since it's my first Louis Vuitton bag. I think I'm going to keep it forever. I think the only thing about the wrapping that I wish that they had is when I bought my Gucci purse, it came in a box and it had a bag inside of it, which I loved because it felt like I went to go buy it instead of ordered it online. And for the Louis Vuitton, it came in the box, but it didn't have the bag, which I wish it did because I don't know, it's just aesthetically pleasing or something about the fact that you just spent so much money on a purse and the bag is just a part of it. It's part of the experience, like I said. So I do wish that they had that. So this is what the box looks like. Here's the pretty band. I'm gonna slip it off real quick. Has this cute little card holder attached to it. Oh, it's so cute has like a mini little envelope if you're giving this as a gift. You can write like them a sweet note. I had a lot of people in my last video tell me that they're getting gifts for their wives and so this would be perfect. You can give this to your wife or your girlfriend or whatever. And give it to yourself, to me, from me. Bought this for myself as my birthday slash Christmas gift so Good job, Julie, you did a great job. This is what it looks like without the ribbon and I'm gonna tilt it a little because I can feel like it's gonna fall. And then when you open it, it comes in the Louis Vuitton dust bag. Woo, I'm so excited. Oh, I just need to sit with it for a second. I'm like nervous to open it. I got that same giddy feeling I got when I got my last purse. <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and open it. Ooh. Oh my god, it's so cute. First reveal. Ah, looks a little small, but I think it's because this is folded down. Guys, it's so cute. For some reason, I thought this was going to be bigger. To me, this kind of looks like the PM, does it not? I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm looking at it too close. I think this is the right size. I think I just have to get over the fact that I thought it was gonna be bigger. I checked the inside, there's like a little like piece of paper inside the attachment that says never full MM. So it's all good. This is what it looks like. This is 
actual size in comparison right next to my head. If I put it up close, you can see it looks a lot bigger. So I like to hold it right next to me just to give a size comparison. It feels so good. I love that I'm going to be able to fit so much in here. I love the chocolate lining i didn't want the white one or like the ivory one i feel like it would have gotten dirty too easily and too fast the inside looks like this it's just red and it has the brown stripes inside of it i am obsessed with the red detailing i feel like it's so classy she's a woman she has a full-time job all of that good stuff on the sides there's these little straps and so you can wear it as a big tote like this where it angles out or you can fold it in fold it in right here like that and then tighten the straps i will do a video where i try it all different ways so you guys can see so then that way it will be straight on both sides I prefer it like this. I'm sure I'll change my mind eventually, but you can tighten or loosen this part right here. And then on the inside, this clasp at the top that you can hook it closed so that way it's not opened for people to just snatch something out of. One thing that I really liked about this purse is that you're kind of getting like a two-in-one. It comes with this really nice I don't know. I don't know what this is called. I don't know. I call it a wallet. It's actually a really good size. It's this big. This is side by side my head. And you can tell it's like, it's pretty big. It's probably, it might be the same size as the Gucci. I feel like you can fit a lot in here. This is the pouch, but then there's like another pouch right here. Can unattach over here. But right now it's just attached so that way you don't lose it. People can't take it out. I'm going to be using the crap out of this. I think it's so cute. If you know me, I'm a silver kind of person. I don't really wear gold, but I love the gold detailing on the purse. I feel like it makes it really luxurious. There's the gold little thing right there. And on the outside as well, it's also gold. So I feel like if it was silver, it would take away from that. So I love the detailing. So for this video, I'm not gonna do a what all fits in this bag because it is a pretty large bag. You can fit a lot. I think I'm gonna film a second video for that one if you guys wanna see. I, what's in my bag or what I can fit in a Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM. Leave me a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions or anything like that, please let me know down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.